So, in work subsidies, who benefits? Well, in work subsidies may not be a buzzword, but I bet that you, or someone who you know well, receives them. I'm talking about things like child tax credit, like working tax credit, like housing benefit, income support. In the UK, many of these are being rolled into the new universal credit. There's been a boom in these worldwide over the last 30 years, and this boom started in the US and here in the UK. Millions of people in the UK rely on them. For example, the majority of families uh, with children uh, receive tax credits. And so uh, government plans to uh, reduce eligi eligibility for them as they introduce universal credit have caused concern. So the obvious answer is workers benefit from in-work subsidies. But could there be other beneficiaries? Well, these workers here are working at Amazon, workers at Tesco or uh, in industries from agriculture to care work. Many of them are on low wages. Could the companies continue to operate if they had to pay higher wages in the way that they do now? Could the workers survive and continue doing those jobs if, they, if their wages weren't being topped up by these in-work subsidies? In-work subsidies definitely can benefit workers if they're well designed, but also they can act as a subsidy to companies that rely on low paid work. This may be a benefit, but it's something that we need to be aware of when we design them. My research involves talking to representatives of these companies, also to representatives of other businesses that may not so directly benefit from them. It involves speaking to representatives of workers and also of the government to investigate how they understand in work subsidies, how they respond to this, uh, these understandings, whether they're obvious understandings or perhaps incentives that they don't themselves understand. I suspect that there are variations in their responses based on where they are in the located in the country or which industry they're in, perhaps according to uh, the prevalence of low paid work in those industries. I'm hoping that this research will enable us to have a much fuller picture so that uh, rather than when universal was, credit was introduced with very partial understanding of how people and businesses, these multiple beneficiaries were likely to respond to changes in in-work subsidies, that in future we'll have a fuller understanding, we may be able to produce policy that benefits a far broader range of these beneficiaries that can actually save money and that will actually benefit the government as well because they'll have a more effective tool with which to manage the economy. Thank you.